guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing really well. Today I've got another Average Girl Tries video for you and today, I'm so excited, we're going to be trying this bad boy. Oh my god, I bought it. This is the new Urban Decay Naked Palette, otherwise known as the Naked Heat Palette. Oh hello! The chances are you're probably sick of seeing this palette already because it's already all over YouTube thanks to the makeup gurus, beauty experts, makeup artists all being completely obsessed with this and basically believing that it's the best thing to have happened to makeup in 10,000 years. But the difference with this video is that they have talent and I don't. If you haven't seen my Average Girl Tries videos before, the whole point is that I am that average girl um, with very much average makeup skills. Um, so rather than watching like a super expert trialing products, you can come and watch me trial products with very low abilities. And fingers crossed the idea is that it helps guys and girls decide whether it's worthwhile in them actually buying this um, or if you have to be a makeup artist to make it look any good. Seeing as I have zero willpower of any kind, um, I splashed £39.50 on this and now questioning all of my life choices. Having said that though, for £39.50 you do get 12 shades uh, which Urban Decay describe as amber-hued neutrals. Um, warm browns, burnt oranges and rich siennas. And here inside is what we're working with today. As you can see it ranges from like a pretty much blanked out bleached creamy white colour called Ounce, goes through various ready toned coppery warm shades uh, all the way down to this really cool shimmery brown plummy colour called Ember. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new and you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat at Lucy Jane Wood. but without further ado if you want to see how I get on with this bad boy then keep on watching. Oh my god I can't even tell you how hot and sweaty I am right now but I bet you're glad I did tell you just for that little visual there. I suppose ironically I've picked the hottest day of the year so far to film this video uh, with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Do you think when Urban Decay made this heat palette they intended it to be for abnormally sweaty girls because that's what's happening right now. Okay so I'm gonna kick this off by obviously clipping my hair back because I can't do a damn thing with my hair in my face. I've also been sat here for about 30 seconds and already feel like I've got a Sula. Sweaty upper lip alert. As you can see I've already got 90% of my makeup on probably. Uh, foundation, concealer, powder and eyebrows. All that jazz. I got the brow. Oh my god, I literally hate myself so much. I have this little bad boy right here. Um, first things first, this packaging is so freaking cool. The colour scheme gives me a real 80s vibe and this like super hard plastic. Oh, I'm just really into it. I think it's great packaging. And it also comes boxed up when you first open it in this little um, cardboard two-piece. And then inside is a little set of matches, which I thought was cool. And then on this side, it's all kind of like burning roses. It's all very MySpace 2006. The brush that comes with the Naked palette has vastly improved since the last time I bought a Naked palette. The last one I bought was probably Naked 2, I think, uh, which came with a much crappier brush than this. So I think to start with I'm gonna dive in with a bit of Chaser all over my lid just to keep things very neutral to begin with. But cool, so I'm gonna use the flatter side to go in with that. I feel like a bad person ruining this beautiful palette. It's all so immaculate and perfect and I'm just gonna go and stick my brush in it. Let's do it! Ah, I'm sorry, I love you, don't hate me. I mean of all the colours for me to have started with this is definitely the most boring, so I apologise for that. It's a nice neutral colour though. Ain't got any complaints about that one. Kind of hate this brush though, so I'm going to trade brushes. So I think next up I'm going to go for this kind of like really warm toned... I mean they're all really warm toned, aren't they? This is the heat palette. Why did I say that? Uh, I'm going to go for this brown shade, which is called Low Blow. I actually really like some of the names in here. So we have Ounce, Chaser, Sourced, Thawst. Low blow, lumber, he devil, dirty talk. I mean, scorched cayenne, en fuego. I like that one. Uh, ashes and ember. I think en fuego is the best name. As you can tell, I'm making this up as I go along. Um, but I'm just going to grab some of this shade and I'm going to put that in my crease. Does anybody else think about bums when they say in my crease? Is that just me? Oh, she's pigmented, all right. She's real pigmented. That is actually a lot more pigment than I was expecting <laughs> to be on my face. Okay, not sure what we're going to do about that. 
I'll figure that out soon. I think this is actually quite a difficult palette to use if you want like a soft look. I'm not sure if you kind of go for a very soft kind of blended smokies that this is the one to go for because uh, a lot of the colours are really intense kind of further this end um, and you've only really got three that are a lot softer. I'm gonna have to blend the crap out of that because that is so much more product than I was expecting to have on my eyelid. <laughs> this has gone well already. Next up I'm gonna try a shade that I'm actually really excited to use and as soon as I opened the palette I was like ooh that's a good shade, that's a good colour. Um, it's this one right in the middle called Lumber, um, which is quite a metallic-y looking, very cool kind of duochrome, uh, like rose goldy colour. Quite a lot of gold in there, um, but it's also quite pink toned, um, and I think it's going to look really cool. So I might just go ahead and put that all over my lid. I mean, why not? Oh my god, it's actually so red toned. Can you see that? Oh my god, this is so much redder than I was expecting. Interesting. This is a colour that I'd probably never normally go for because it's actually it's actually really red toned and even though I've applied these with like zero talent um, I feel like the colours have actually blended really nicely together as well considering I haven't actually put a lot of like mega effort into trying to make them blend together really well I think they've kind of done it by themselves quite nicely which is a massive bonus. Next I'm feeling some kind of like darkness to try and like smoke this up a bit so I don't know whether to go for the slightly kind of redder toned En Fuego, just because I really like the name, or the more like plummy, purpley ashes. That might be a bit much. I think I'm going to go for En Fuego, mostly because I just really like that name and I like saying it. En Fuego. This is the part of eyeshadow where I never really know what I'm doing. Well, I mean, that is every part. That is literally every step of the way, but particularly this part where you're supposed to kind of like shape it around your eye kind of thing. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to this part. I literally feel like it just looks like I've been punched in the face, which is interesting. So far, I love the colour that I put all over my lid. I love the like lumber rose gold shade. I don't really like the other two that I've used. I feel like they were both in error. You know when you're halfway through your makeup when you're getting ready to go out and you're like, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. That's how I feel right now. Uh, there's a bit of me that's like, shall I start again? And a bit of me, the, the naive part of me, is convinced that I'm like, you can save this, you can do it, this is getting better. It's not getting better, it's not. Do you know what, this is why I make this series. Because you watch Nikki tutorials and you watch Manny MUA using these amazing palettes and they make themselves look incredibly flawless and you think, ah, oh, if I have that, that'll happen for me. I am proof that that doesn't happen just because you buy the makeup. You have to actually have some vague talent too. Okay, I think I need to stop. I think I need to stop. Um, so I'm just gonna add a bit of colour underneath my eyes. He Devil is this very dark, very matte, intense colour right here. Um, so if we're gonna go for it, then we're gonna go for it. Whoa, that is so pigmented. Will this be the colour that pulls it together? I mean, I doubt it. I literally feel like I look insane. <laughs> Oh, why do I do this? Why do I think I have any place in the world making any kind of makeup videos? The cool thing is that I feel like it makes my eyes look greener than they actually are. So that's quite cool. I was just thinking that I'd quite like to add a little bit of like a highlight colour right just in the inner corner of my eyes here. But that is something that this doesn't come with. It does come with this like almost white, very bright shade called Ounce. But as far as I can tell, although maybe not actually, I thought it was matte but maybe it's not. Let me swatch that. Mm, I think it has got a little bit of shimmer to it so maybe I'll go for that instead. Um, I'm just going to add that right here because that's what the professionals do. I'm gonna go for a little bit of Ashes, which is this really violet vampy shade right at the end. Um, and I'm just gonna stick that right here. And last but not least, seeing as it's the other shade which I'm quite intrigued by, I'm also just gonna pop a little bit of this colour. Uh, do I need this on my eye? Absolutely not, but it's so pretty that I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, it's this other really frosty metallic colour. That's actually worked quite nicely for blending the dark and the light ones together. So maybe this wasn't such a disaster after all. Okay, now that I've successfully accidentally turned myself into half dragon lady, half intense, slightly worse for wear looking hungover, previously had a fight the night before vibes, 
Um, I think I'm going to be the better person and stop there. So I am going to quickly put on some eyeliner and some mascara. Fingers crossed that makes it look vaguely more normal and a bit more defined. Um, so I'll be back with you when I have done that. Well, if that doesn't confirm the power of eyeliner and mascara, then I don't know what does. In the strangest turn of events, I think that looks quite good and I quite like it. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit of lipstick on so that it stops like bleaching my lips out. Right, let me just take this hair down and we can have a chat about <laughs> what's happened to my face. Okay, Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I have some thoughts about you and they are as follows. Is this palette amazing to look at in the pan? And when you see pictures of it, does it make you turn into a human hot eye emoji and decide that you instantly need this in your makeup collection? Yes. It is so visually appealing and the packaging is so stunning that as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I need it. That is so beautiful. What a beautiful piece of makeup. And I think if you collect makeup in the way that I do and you sort of fall in love with makeup and you have kind of a habit of treating yourself to lovely beauty things, this is an amazing Prezi to treat yourself to. In terms of whether the average girl actually needs this and it's actually kind of usable in her life, I'm not so sure. I actually think that when it comes to this little selection of colours here, you do actually maybe vaguely need some kind of talent. Is that kind of wrong to say? I mean, I just feel that when I actually opened this and came down to trying to decide what to do with these shades, I didn't really know what I was doing. I feel like if you're presented with a quite neutral set of cool toned browns, beiges, nudes, you kind of just instinctively know what to do with them these days. Um, but then when I alternatively was instead faced with this set of very warm, quite intense, um, and a lot of very similar colours, I was quite confused by the whole thing. I feel like the makeup artists that you see um, using this on YouTube, who are much better at makeup than I am, will be able to make all of these shades look incredible and work very well together and will know where all of these belong in an eye look. So I felt like I was getting in a bit in a bit of a mess trying to figure out what to put where and how to use them all to the best of their ability and what they've been designed for. But having said that, now that I've got mascara and eyeliner on and a bit of lippy to balance things out a bit and I've kind of like, you know, jazzed my hair up a little bit, I quite like what I've managed to make with it. Um, it's just a very stressful experience. <laughs> for kind of like soft neutral looks, you're better off with one of the other naked palettes because there's a lot more options there. As I said earlier, there's so many intense shades down this side and the pigmentation is so, so solid that it is actually quite difficult to get a soft look, which is kind of what I started out for and instead ended up with this. So I don't know, as much as I love this, as much as I think it's a fantastic palette, the quality is amazing. I have, don't have a bad word to say about the formula or the pigmentation or the blendability or anything like that and the shades themselves are really beautiful I just think that for the average girl, which is the point of this video um, it might not be the most like super wearable in general and also I feel like there is quite a lot of uh, room for error with it sticking the wrong shades in the wrong place using a lot of similar shades just ending up with a bit of a red swamp over each eyeball looking like you've been punched in the face which seems to be the vibe that I've gone for today I mean if that's not the ideal night out vibe I don't know what is when the other naked palettes are so so wearable I just think this is something a little bit different um, and don't let yourself be fooled into thinking that you can recreate the looks easily that you see on YouTube because it's hard. <laughs> I'm supposed to go for a picnic now but I feel like this might be quite a look to stick with for a picnic so I might have to go and uh, tone this down slightly. But I am off to go and eat my weight in sausage rolls now so thank you so much for watching guys I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then please do give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Naked Heat palette. Do you agree that it's maybe not the easiest most wearable palette that Urban Decay have ever done? And are you like me and just really want it anyway? <laughs> also if you could just click on this video you don't even have to watch it but if you click on this video it massively helps my channel with the algorithm so I would really appreciate it. Please, I love you. Thanks very much. I love you. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Lucy Jane Wood, and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye! Mwah.